Hi everyone, um, I just got a little bored and I decided to make a little video. Um, there are so many people messaging me and telling me how much I inspire them and how much that I am so open and just love who I am and so confident and so just a big word for me is fabulous. I just think I'm so fabulous and whatever. Um, it, um, a lot of people ask me how do I do it? How, how do I put myself out there and not care what a person thinks? Um, honestly, it was the hardest thing ever. It, it's not easy. I'm gonna tell you that. It's not easy at all. Um, the day I came out, it took since I was a freshman in high school. I I found out I would I would end the guys when I was a freshman, and um, I didn't want to tell anyone. I I had I had friends that were totally against gay people, and I felt like if I lost them, I would have lost everything. And um, I hung out with a couple people. And, um, there were certain people that I knew that, not in Yucca, but I would tell them that I am. And they would try to tell me, and they would tell me and tell me and tell me to come out and just be who you are. Um, it, it, it doesn't work like that. You don't force someone to come out. You don't force someone to be who they are until they are comfortable with it. Um, how I came out was... I met, I met a girl, and <clears throat> honestly, I, she was like my best friend, and we tell, we tell each other everything, and she was just a, a really good friend, well, a good friend. Um, I actually, believe it or not, I did fall for her. Um, I thought that I was going to spend the rest of my life with her, I thought we were going to you know, have a good future together. But then it came to a guy. Um, actually a guy in the high school. And I'm not gonna say his name. Um, I met him, we hung out and I never loved someone. I never never ever ever fell in love with someone in my life. And it was a guy that I fell for. Although I was I did fall for the, my best friend, um, but there was just something about this guy that totally changed who I am. And the minute I fell in love with him, I I was sick of hiding it, you know? All my friends asked, oh, where are you going, you know? And, like, I had to lie to them where I'm going, when really I'm going to the guy's house to hang out with them. Um, uh... So anyways, um, so I met this guy, and of course, you know, we done some stuff, and that was when I finally knew 100% that I was in the guy. And when we were talking and stuff, you know, we decided to come out of the closet together, and we did. And when I came out, I started out telling, telling my friends. And the first person I told was my best friend. And she totally disowned me. She wanted nothing to do with me. She told me to go to hell and started calling me all these names or whatever. And I was hurt. I felt like I didn't want to be who I am because I lost a really good person in my life and people try to explain to me that you know she wasn't my friend and that's true she was not ever my friend if she doesn't accept me for who I am then she doesn't deserve to be in my life um so then I, I told my mom um it took two hours two hours to tell my mother crying the whole time and um she supports me 100%, and that's what boosts my confidence up. 
my mom is my idol. Anything, whatever problem I have, I have to tell my mom. Because it makes me feel good. And my mom is almost like my best friend. She's the only person I trust. And, um, you have to hang out with people that make you smile. You have to hang out with people that accept you for who you are. You can be the most annoying person. You can be the ugliest person. You can be the most beautiful person or snobby, stuck up. But people have to accept you. And in order for that to happen, um, you just have to, it's hard to find, it's very hard to find somebody to accept you. And it was really hard for me. Um, I thought I didn't have any friends. I have lost so many friends. I've lost family members. I have been through a lot. And in the, that's all in the past, though. I leave everything in the past. I never let it destroy my future. And the reason I'm so confident and so, uh, so open about myself is because I finally learned that being who you are is the most amazing thing in the world. It's the best thing ever. You can never hide who you are. That's the worst thing. You're killing yourself. You will never be happy if you hide who you are. And I learned that. And hiding who I was was the worst thing, the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. And I'm very grateful that I, I'm very open. Um, people think that I inspire them. Um, I don't, I honestly have to say, I don't know how I do. But I can say that I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I get a hundred messages a day of people telling me that I inspire them and I help them through a lot of situations. And I honestly think it's because I have been through the same situation. Um, back in high school, was I a cute guy? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It, I was so ugly in high school. I did not care what I looked like. I didn't care. Like, I didn't want to fit in. I didn't want to fit in with society. I wanted to be myself. And, um, uh, I wanted to be myself, and that's just how it is, you know? And the minute I came out, yes, I have gotten a lot more feminine. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of a thing where it just happened. And, um, so I started taking care of myself, and... I wanted to be somebody. I wanted people to notice me and I wanted I wanted people to want me and understand that I am a great person. I I'm a very lovable person. I hate to fight. I hate drama even though I have drama all the time. I have drama all the time. It it gets old. It's to the point where it doesn't bother me anymore. But um Anyways, uh, being who you are, there's nothing wrong with it. And if you think that, you you need to talk to somebody. And I am willing. I'm willing to talk to you about it. I am a loving person. Um, I try the best I can to help somebody um, be themselves and be more confident. You know, everyone has a different type of beauty. We got people that think they're ugly, very insecure. Um, we all have at least one insecurity. At least one. But nobody notices them. And another thing, um, people get bullied for being fat, being too skinny. Um, matter of fact, I was bullied when I was young. I was very skinny. I was a very skinny boy. I still am. And a lot of people call me anorectic and all these other names. And back in the day, I used to wear hearing aids. And I was bullied, but not to the point where... Not to the point where it destroyed me. But 
I have been through a lot of situations that I can go on and on and on about. But the one thing that I want to let people know that you are your own person. You should never compare yourself to anyone. That's what I don't do. I don't compare myself to another person. Yes, I do think there's a lot of people that look better than me. But I try to get past that and I try to tell myself every day that I am often the killer. I am my own person. I can't change who I am because it's who I am. And the more you love yourself, the more happy you're going to be and the more better you're going to look. It, the way you look all depends on the attitude and the confidence that you have. And telling yourself that you, you're ugly every day isn't going to get you anywhere. You know? It's not. Everyone has their own beauty. And there's different levels of beauty. You know, no one is ugly, honestly. I mean, we, we all may think we are. And that's normal. That's part of life. We all think we're not that great. But you need to learn that... Um, that we have to get past that. And we have to understand that we are our own person. We're amazing. Um, and there's no one better than you. And that is how I I am who I am, and I just don't care what people think. Um, am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect. A lot of you people think I am. I'm not. I have wrinkles on my forehead. I have a big nose. I don't have perfect teeth. Um, I don't have the most perfect body, but I try to get that. But do I let... Do I let that destroy me? No, because it's who I am. It's what God made me. And that's what a lot of people need to understand. Um, I know that a lot of people um, messaged me and asked me, how do I do it? Well, how I really do it is to love myself more than anything. You have to love yourself more than anything in the world to, before you can love anyone else and before you can accept anyone else, too. Um, you just have to, you have to be confident. You have to be positive. Positive attitude. Um, there's a book. Um, it's going to be sound kind of lame, but those of you who do read, which I read, um, there's a book called The Secret. And... What it basically means is there's something called the law of attraction. And it's all about positive. All about positive attitude. If you think positive, you will go far in life. Negative will bring you down and it will not take you anywhere. You're just going to be miserable the rest of your life. And that is how I am me. That's, how, that's why all you guys love me. It's because I'm positive. And even on my bad days, I sometimes, to the point where I want to break down and cry, but I still tell myself that I'm amazing, and I'm my own person, and I shouldn't care what people think of me, and that's the way to do it. That is the way to do it, to be positive. And if there is anyone, anyone out there that needs to talk, I am willing to talk. And I will try the best I can to bring you back to where you're supposed to be. And my best advice for all of you is to be positive. And I didn't just learn this for myself. I learned it from a lot of people. Um, yes, in high school, I compared myself to a lot of people, and it made me feel insecure. Um, yes, there were hot guys, there were hot girls at school, they were so perfect, and I was so not. I felt like I wasn't. And to be like that, I'm surprised that I'm, I'm confident now. Like, it all has to do with positive attitude. And that is, it, that's pretty much the best advice that I can give all of you guys. And if you ever need to talk, Again, please 
Matthew to me. Um,